Still with us on the Trio Show on C today, and it's time for See the Stories. We're still continuing with Italian comedian and body comedy club founder Christian Giacobbe. So, um, the, throughout your time as comedian, you have met audience who did not respond to your jokes, and you have dealt with it uh, gracefully. <laughs> and uh, so, what are the biggest challenge of being stand-up comedian? In general. Yes, in general. The biggest challenge is. Every performance is completely different. Yep. So even if you tell the same joke, mm. in one band you can land, in another band you can also... The response so, can be different, right? Exactly. Yeah. So you need to calibrate and adapt to the audience, mm. which is also the nice challenge that you have. Yep, yep, yep. And, and comedy is, is the highest high and the lowest low, because you tell a joke <laughs> and people don't lie. Yeah. They <laughs> laugh or don't laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, maybe yeah. you have five jokes then where they laugh, and yeah. then one joke, crickets. And so it's, it's, it's an emotional roller coaster. Oh, it's hard, right? It is. It now, is. This is what people mostly don't understand about yeah. stand up comedian. They thought that stand up comedian just telling jokes yeah. out of, you know, out of likings and stuff. But yeah. what they did not know is it is actually being constructed, isn't it true? Oh, yes. absolutely. There is only the illusion of the comedian just talking to the audience. Oh. Ah, okay. It's almost like an athlete. You yeah. see the athlete playing the game, but yeah. you don't see the hours of yeah, preparation yeah, 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 and yeah. the hours of training that they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so you must have had a very good memory. Like a <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, like practicing. Yeah, you, you have to. Like, for example, have... in, in a special show, you, and you talk when for you one forget. hour, yeah. and you know exactly every single word ah, that you're going to say. Exactly. But have you had experience where you suddenly forgot, yeah. like, the line, the and time. then you um, All the time. All the time. Oh, yeah, and how did you deal with that? Yeah. You, you get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Okay. Oh. Also, you leave some spaces where you just are going to freestyle with mm. the audience. I see. Mm. So, there's a certain training that you need to do to become a stand-up comedian. But, uh, let's say, there's a uh, like stand-up comedian, uh, like a new stand-up comedian, uh, mm -hmm. or stand-up comedian inspired watching us at the moment. Yep, yep. As the first step, what would you tell them? Mm -hmm. Watch as much stand-up comedy as you can, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can learn from the people that can do it, and get on stage as much as you can. Because mm. you need practice, practice, and practice. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, it's going to be terrible. Mm -hmm. You are going to bomb. You're going <laughs> to not receive many laughs, but you need to keep consistent, and then you'll do fine. Yep. The more, the better. Yes. Like in Indonesian, we say it, uh, bisa karna biasa. Bisa karna biasa. Yes. The, the, the 10,000 hours, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the that training. flying hours. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Of course. Yep. And also, that uh, being said, uh, you know how to handle the situation yep. on that note. Yep. All right. So, um, I think we want to see performance of Christians here in the studio. Of but before that, we have something for you in the package. Here we go. So stand-up comedians is generally performed by solo comics who speak directly to the audience. And in the 1979, Peter Rosengard founded the Comedy Store, the first American-style stand-up comedy club in London. As time went on, stand-up comedy groups have started to form all over the world, including here in Indonesia. The history of stand-up comedy began in the 18th century in Europe and America. In its history, the development of stand-up comedy is also found on various continents. In the United States, stand-up comedy has been going on for a long time. Some say it has existed since the 18th century and growing in the 1960s. When it comes to the origins of stand-up comedy, it all began in the early 1800s in the United States, where theater was still the norm. Previously in America, there was a theater called The Minstrel Show, which was organized by Thomas Dartmouth Daddy Rye. The Minstrel Show started its work right before the Civil War in America, although the jokes were still in the form of simple jokes, but it actually got very big interest from Americans at that time. At first, this show contains many elements of racism that are very prominent. After that, the birth of a theater called Vaudeville. This theater still performs in a format that can be said to be similar to the Minstrel Show. The difference is that Vaudeville has spread to almost all entertainment, such as comedy, music, magic, and so on. Dibasa, senyum dan kering mata halus 
In Indonesia in the 50s, a single comedian began to appear. In 1953, Bing Slamet managed to become the champion of the single comedian competition. This shows that many solo comedians have started to appear. Then the single comedy trend began to spread to other cities. In 1957, Eddie Sud, S. Bagu, and Iskak became the champions of the single comedy competition in Yogyakarta. From the flower city of Bandung came the comedian Us Us, who was later dubbed as Jerry Lewis of Indonesia. After that, the development of stand-up comedy in Indonesia has actually been started by the figure of the late Taufik Sabalas, through the Comedy Cafe event and also the Ramon Papana event, as the owner of the Comedy Cafe. However, this event did not receive a response from the Indonesian public, so you could say the event was lacking boom. The journey was continued by Panji Pagiwaksono and Raditya Dika. They are the people who play the role in making stand-up comedy very popular nowadays. Armed with followers from Twitter, they did an open mic in Comedy Cafe July 13, 2011, uploaded to YouTube and get a very great response. Until now, there have been many stand-up comedy communities that have stood all over Indonesia, from Sabang to Merauke. The number is estimated to have reached more than 100. The community starts from district, city level to enter agencies, such as companies, universities, and schools. Anita Putri was an indita for see today. I love some stand-up comedy uh, performances because, you know, Sometimes if I have, you know, lots of things, mm -hmm. uh, my office probably and my daily life, I would, I would turn on my Netflix and or TV yep. for stand-up comedy. Yes. But since you are here, would you please grace us with some stand-up comedy performance? Absolutely. Just because you asked. <laughs> yes. And we have even prepared some topics in okay. this fishbowl. And you must pick one. Are you ready with it? All right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, your Italian is very good. <laughs> oh, very fast. I had lots of pasta. Your son. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Which is actually next week is going to turn one year old. All right. <laughs> okay. The same so. month as mine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So one year old, uh, one -year -old uh, son. Yeah. Okay, should I uh, give you the microphone for this? Because, no, nah, you're just gonna stand there. Yeah, I, I right. can yeah. just pretend to use the yeah, mic. Yeah, yeah, okay, oh, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> like comfort thing. Yeah, <laughs> comfort. Good luck. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Christian Jacobi. Yay! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can't wait. You know, many fathers think that their son is special. But my son truly is special. Because I'm Italian, his mother is South African, and he was born here in Indonesia. He's like a fried chicken pizza with Nazi grand. <laughs> it's weird, but interesting. And before he was born, I was daydreaming a lot about him. I was like, maybe he's going to have Asian spirituality, <laughs> European privilege, <laughs> and African physicality. You know, that, that'd be yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, that'd yeah, be yeah. nice. <laughs> or, or maybe he can end up having <clears throat> European spirituality. <laughs> Uh, Af African privilege, that's... Yeah. And, and Asian... Let's hope for the best, okay? Let's just hope for the best. But as a father, mm -hmm. what you want is your son to see you like a superhero, you know? Yes, uh -huh. yes. And nowadays, there are superheroes from every country. There's Shang-Chi, he's from China. Uh, Black Panther, he's from Africa. Yeah. There's no Italian superheroes, you know? The only super that we have in Italy, it's Super Mario. <laughs> and, and he's not even Italian, he's made in Japan. Yes. And, and he's not even a hero. I mean, think about it. Super Mario goes to beautiful places, yeah. he breaks stuff, eats weird mushroom, and then run after girls. <laughs> that is not a hero, that is every bully in Bali. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's it. Thank you very much. My name is Chris. Wow, that's great. Oh, so bad. Wow. Ooh, the pressure. 
Oh, we love that. We love it. Even oh, the my first face. thing, the, the nasty goreng thing. Oh, oh my face. Us. All right. So much. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. See the story. We're going to continue after the break with news about the remastered edition of James Cameron Titanic. But before that, we yes. would, would like to say thank you very much for oh, being here you, and make us Christian, grazie laugh. Mille. Yeah. Thank you so much. And if I can add just one more thing, yep. uh, check out my national oh, yes. stand-up tour. Yep. Uh, all the info are on uh, kunchicomedy.com and it's called Aku Chin Chao Kamu. Aku Chin Chao Kamu. Aku Chin Chao Kamu. All right. Thank you, Christian. Stay here only on the Trioni Show on C Today. <laughs>